Dear brothers and sisters, peace be with you. Today, December 7th, 2020. Today's gospel is from Luke chapter 5, verses 17 to 26. Let me read the gospel. One day as Jesus was teaching, Pharisees and teachers of the law were sitting there who had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was with him for healing. And some men brought on a stretcher a man who was paralyzed. They were trying to bring him in and set him in his presence. But not finding a way to bring him in because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and lowered the tiles into the middle in front of Jesus. When he saw their faith, he said, As for you, your sins are forgiven. Then the scribes and Pharisees began to ask themselves, Who is this who speaks blasphemies? Who but God alone can forgive sins? Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them in reply, What are you thinking in your hearts? Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise and walk. But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the man who was paralyzed, I say to you, Rise, pick up your stretcher, and go home. He stood up immediately before them, picked up what he had been lying on, and went home, glorifying God. Then astonishment seized them all, and they glorified God, and struck with awe, they said, We have seen incredible things today. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, there are many ways we express our faith. When we were kids, our grandma used to give us medicines only after reciting an apostolic creed. That was her faith and it works every time. We feel comfortable and it was a catechism lesson for us. How we express ourselves in front of others matters a lot. Sometimes some expressions are awkward and people feel odd behavior, but faith never fails. Today we see such demonstration in the gospel. Those who brought the man who was paralyzed went up on the roof and lowered the tiles into the middle of Jesus. And Jesus was amazed by seeing their faith, and he healed the paralyzed. Another interesting factor we see, there were Pharisees and scribes with Jesus, which must be an inquiry commission from all over the country. Gospel says they had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem. They heard many things about this new rabbi, and they want to know about the reality behind the news. These Pharisees and scribes knew everything about the law and the prophets, yet they lacked faith and failed to recognize their Messiah. On the other hand, the people who brought the paralyzed saw God's glory and glorified God. Instead of giving direct healing here, Jesus tells the person with paralysis, As for you, your sins are forgiven. Though Pharisees and scribes felt that as blasphemy, Jesus wanted to give him redemption from his sins. He showed that with the action of healing, this miracle provides a lesson beyond that incident. The sins of Adam paralyzed all humankind, and Jesus came to redeem humanity from that sin. For those who believe in him and those who accept him, salvation is sure. Whenever I hear these words in the confessional, your sins are forgiven, go in peace. I can't express the inner joy at that moment. The redemption Jesus gave to us always renews in the confessional. When we are paralyzed by disobeying God, Jesus allows us to begin anew. The confessional is a place where he tells us, go in peace and start anew. This recreation makes us come closer to God and glorify him. Like those people who saw the miracle and praised God, we too are called to rejoice and say, We have seen incredible things today. May God bless you all.